finding your ways to develop on a size of your head is one of the biggest challenges you'll face in your wave journey. And believe me, this is how my size looked when I first started waving versus how they look now. This didn't just happen overnight. There's a lot of challenges and roadblocks I faced to get to this point. So today I'll tell you my story of how I made this transformation. And hopefully this can be a video that you come back to whenever you're facing one of these challenges so you can see how I overcome them so you can overcome them. My journey first started when I saw the waves on the top of my head started to come in and were starting to connect and look really good. In the beginning of my wave journey, when I looked at the top of my head, my waves were coming in fast and the top pause and the top ankle. But when you get to the sides of your head, that's usually the spot where it takes the most time and it's the most frustrating to get your waves in. My journey first started when I noticed that my waves on the sides just weren't developing. It looked like my hair just wasn't long enough and it felt like my hair just wouldn't grow as fast on the sides of my head as compared to the top of my head. At this point, I didn't understand one of the, no, the fundamental method of waves, which is wolfing. Wolfing is simply the process of letting your hair grow long enough to the point where your hair starts to curl. This is the basic definition of waves. When your hair gets long enough to curl and you take those curls and you lay them down. That's why people with a lots of big curls can just do a washer style and get waves in one day because they're just simply taking the curls or pre-existing curls that they already have and they're laying it down. Waves aren't really that special. That's literally all waves are. Laid down curls. Once I finally learned and understood this topic, even though my waves didn't look as good as they look now, they were finally starting to come in on the sides and they were finally starting to somewhat connect. Once your waves look from looking like a bunch of tiny ripples and random like crashes all over to when you kind of see connections starting to form as you brush you're officially going from the ripple stage to the connection stage and drop a comment if you want to see a video explaining the stages of waves because to my knowledge no one has actually properly explained the stages of waving and it's an essential idea that all beginner wavers need to know so drop a comment if you want to see that video now once i started to reach the connection stage this is where i really locked in and started to focus on my waves this is when once you reach the connection stage this is where you start getting those ambitions of oh wow i can really become an elite waver if i just stay consistent keep putting in the work and keep learning and those three things are what you need to become an elite waiver in the summer of 2021 i started to lock in on my connections so i can finally be called an elite waiver by 360 jews <laughs> At the start of the month, my waves look like this. But by early to mid-January, my waves look like this. And you can see remarkable progress on my sides. Now there are three essential methods that I abuse. <laughs> I'm keeping that in there. Bro. That I abuse during this time to make this transformation. Those methods are wolfing so my hair can be long enough so I can actually make waves and control my waves and, and to give me an all around easier job by just forming my waves. Wolfing, you already know, is essential. Combing, which is vital when you're wolfing. It seems like combing doesn't have that much of a benefit. Combing has a large array of benefits stemming from just your overall hygiene, combing out dandruff if you're using unnatural products, which you shouldn't be using unnatural products, anyways. <laughs> Combing out loose and dead hairs and just making it easier for your hair to flow just combing combing just really it just allows you to really just align your waves the way you want them to when you're wolfing every single brush session when you're making you're trying to make progress you comb and then you brush and then also then also using methods like the flawless connection method which utilizes combing to make massive progress combing cannot be stuck on and last but definitely not least probably my favorite method here it's been a bit overrated in the wave community but i do think it is still the best method other than wolfing which is the washing style method if you do this method correctly you're not going to do it correctly in your first try you know it takes a lot of you're going to be if you're a waver you're going to be doing this method a lot for just basic hygiene even but you're, you can make so much progress from it if you do it correctly and that is the washing style method this method it cleans your hair if you use natural shampoo it really brings out the health of your hair and it just makes it and if you use shampoo Shampoo bars, especially if you use shampoo bars, you can make so much more progress because it's like, you know how you play with clay, you can mold it into anything you want. You can basically do that with your waves. So you can just mold your waves into elite, flawless waves. So you can get that maximum control over your brush when you're brushing, when you're doing the wash and stuff. And plus, if using shampoo and conditioning bars, link in the description, you can do something called the overwash method, which you do the best wave method to make the most progress every single day. Don't do that method if you're not really an elite wave or if you're not educated enough on hair health, at least. Be careful when you're doing that method, but it's kind of, it's like taking steroids, but like... <laughs> It's like taking steroids. It's like, you know what it's gonna do. You're gonna build a lot of muscle if you take it, but it has a really lots of bad health effects if you do it wrong. I'm not encouraging steroid use, but you, you can kind of see the parallel here. <laughs> 
Now I really hope that this story of my journey will help your journey. I really wish I had a video like this. I, I kind of did have videos like this, but they didn't feel like personalized to me. And I am making this video for my past self. So hopefully someone out there is kind of like me waving. The journeys are all different. However, you know, they're all similar. To, you're you're going to face the same and similar roadblock and trials and tribulations. Let me not, let me stop being soft, bro. I really do hope that this story of my wave journey helps you on yours. Make sure you join my wave discord server link in the description because you know when i was going through these problems i wish i had a video like this like directly addressing my problem because all wave journeys they're different but they go through very similar problems at different times or even at similar times so i wish i had a community of like-minded people who are going through the same problems who are going through the same problems as you or who have overcome not circum to overcome their problems so they can go ahead and help you overcome yours and these communities do exist but they're on facebook who uses facebook bro be honest do you even have facebook on your phone how old are we here i know my my target demographic i'm not speaking to the old heads most of them they're already flawless waivers you know they, they had decades decades to fix their weight problems so they shouldn't even be watching my videos you feel me but for us we're all doing this at the same time so let's do it together in the discord server us young people we use discord instagram you know twitter but we don't we do not use facebook bro and to learn about mistakes that you will make along this journey of trying to get your ways on the side, watch this video right here. Products I use, link in the description. You don't have to use these products specifically, but just please make sure you're using all natural products, man. You have to invest in your hair. Buy your products from B.O.B.s. Don't use these store-bought products. Like, I'm serious. I have a video on that. Look up Wave Man J products. Uh, I, I explain what products actually do so you know what products to actually get. Thanks for watching. God bless. Hi.